Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful, fabulous, blessed day so far. Thank you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for all the love. Oh, thank you so much. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Zone, baby. All right. <laughs> so today I am going to be making Ghana's, one of Ghana's famous dish, which is Mpoto Mpoto. Really? Oh, okay. All right. All right. So today I'm going to be making one of Ghana's famous dish, which is Mpoto. <laughs> Mpoto, Mpoto, right? Mpoto. which the Nigerians will call um, a saro. Uh, I think that's what it's called. A S A R O. Mpoto. Mpoto. And, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and we Ghanaians will call it Mpoto, Mpoto or yam porridge. Yam porridge is very delicious. It's savory. It's what I would compare to an American dish. Um, what American dish would I compare this to? Like potato soup right potato soup and i'm talking about potato soup that is like made with heavy cream and all the things that comes with it but gotta uh well it's it's actually Ghanaian to eat a balanced diet okay we do eat a balanced diet there is no um heavy cream in this is just going to be instead of heavy cream we are going to use the water all right so let's get started let me show you what you need to make your important potato or yam porridge. To make this recipe, this delicious, savory, spicy recipe, you are going to need, I have dry fish, it's like smoked dry fish, so it is very, very dry, like, it's very dry. Or in Ghana, mostly we use um, tuna, like smoked tuna, but it's not dry. Or you can use like um, the big macro, like the macro that I would normally will buy fresh and bake in the oven. You can use that. You can use um, any actually fish of your preference. You can put it in the oven, bake it, and then let it sit out for a few uh, minutes so the heat, like it cools off, and then you can debone it. Or you can use fish fillet, you know. If, you use, if you're using fish fillet, what you're doing is you're also like sort of baking it or grilling it and then you let it cool down before you use it. So you can use any fish of your preference. Mackerel, um, tuna, salmon, any fish of your preference. Okay, trout, any fish of your prefer preference. And then you're going to need yam, okay, the main ingredient. That's why there's a reason why it's called yam porridge because we are using yam. I had some of my yam um, peeled and diced up already. And you need medium-sized onion like you can use half of a medium sized which I think I will do I have two small tomatoes here that I'm going to not too, too not too much tomatoes I have two red peppers chili peppers over here I have a third cup of palm oil I have salt to taste I have water um, to boil my yam and so guys that is the ingredient you will be needing to get this ingredient, you can mostly get this the ingredient from African grocery shop, okay? If you have any questions or if you have any, um, if you need help in finding African grocery shop, just let me know, okay? Just um, leave a comment in the description box or in the comment section and I will answer your questions and help you find an African shop which is closest to you so you can get all your ingredients for yum porridge. And yam porridge will also be good for like um, like cold weather. You know, it's like it has like a soup based consistency, so it will be also good for cold weather. And you know, we don't we eat it all year round, okay? And it's especially during the yam season, all right? When it's new yam season, we're eating a lot of yam. We're frying yam, yam like potatoes, you know, and we are making um mashed yams. We are making yam porridge. And so, yeah, it's a really great commodity in Ghana, a really good food commodity in Ghana, and that's what most people eat, all right? So let's just get started, okay? I've given you the history. And Nigerians eat yam. Yam is really big. They have pounded yam. They have this. 
it's it's yam in Africa. It's like really, it's a really big commodity, food commodity. So to peel my yam, I decided to cut it like in half, like a long tube of yam, and then you sort of cut them in half. So it will make it easy to fit in the palm of your hand to peel or if you are not an expert if you do not grow up in ghana and so you're not an expert it's okay you, you need a cutting board okay and so what you're going to do is you're going to cut it in a sit it on your cutting board so that it is like nice and firm you're going to take your knife and slice the peel the skin off see all right, now I'm gonna cut this into. It depends on how big you want it. If you want it this big, you can just cut it in half and put it back. I don't want it, this is too big. So I will take the knife again, and now I'm gonna cut it into like, I'm going to dice it up into butt size. I said butt, <laughs> bite size, okay? Okay, so our yam is peeled and chopped up diced up whichever way all right so this is the size that i want if you want it a bit smaller you can go for that but um this is a little big so i'm gonna cut it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rinse this off and discard the dirty water you need a pot to make your Important potter in okay your yam porridge in so I'm going to rinse this off transfer it into the pot and it'll be ready for the stove okay put up top just rinsing it off our yam is rinsed off and in our pot ready to cook I have the heat on high I'm going to go ahead and add my water that's two cups of water. I'm going to add another two, making it four cups of water. I'm going to bring this to a boil, but I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes, my pepper. You can cook this uncovered, okay? You don't have to cover it. I mean, you want, you can, but I just, I'm just going to bring this to a boil. <clears throat> so since my fish is very dry, I know I'm going to be cooking it in there. But I want it more softer, okay? So it will be easy for my husband to chew. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add hot water to the fish. And let it sit for anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes till like it softens up. And then I'll go ahead and discard the water and it will be ready to go into my um, important potter dish, right? And it's not important potter, it's Impotom poto. Impoto poto. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep training you. you. <laughs> Impoto poto. So I am in spoiling. I'm going to go ahead and take the onions, the peppers, and the tomatoes out. I'm going to blend it and then return the sauce back to the yam. And I'm going to add one small gal garlic in here blend this up so before i took the onions the the onions the pepper and the tomatoes out it was it, it had already been boiling for 10 minutes and so I put my timer right now at 20 more minutes for it to be done. I'm going to go ahead and return my sauce back in here. Back in here. <laughs> Still make sure you keep the heat on high. I drained the hot water that I added to my dry fish to help it soften up and I am going to go ahead and add my fish in here. I'm adding salt to taste. Right. So I did turn the I did turn the heat down about right about now to medium six and I am going to use my metal ladle to 
mash the yam around. Sometimes what people will do is they will take a few pieces of the yam, right, the cooked yam, and put it in here in the thin way and the, we're going to use the grinder right here to grind it, um, to mash it, you know, it's like using, making mashed potatoes. Like, let me make an, let me do an example for you. So what people will normally do is like, they will just like smash it around and then put it, transfer it back into the <clears throat> pot. But what I'm going to do is I can, you can use a metal um, ladle, which I have. And so you can just press on the yam to make that instead of like getting it out. So it gives you, it makes your liquid thick. It sort of, it sort of gives it um, a porridge consistency. See, as you can see mine is getting like very thick now. So when you mash the yam around, or if you decide to do the old method where you put it in the, um, the ethyl oil and use the grinder, make sure that you're not um, mashing or smashing the whole thing, okay? Just a few pieces, because you just want to get that um, porridge consistency, you see? You want to get the porridge consistency and still have uh, chunks of yam in there. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and add my Maggi cube. I'm going to heat down to low. Less than five minutes left for my important pot or yam porridge to be ready. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my palm oil. That's a third cup of palm oil. So if you want your potom potter like very thick, you can reduce, like I said, reduce the amount of water. Instead of doing four cups of water like I did, you can do three cups of water. I, I don't want mine thick. Mm -mm. I want the porridge. It's like I want the sauce. I like the sauce, you know. So our potom potter is ready and I have the heat still on low. So it's cooking nice and slow. My potom potter is done, all right? It took me a total of 30 minutes from the moment I put it on the stove to the finish, all right? So 30 minutes, I am going to dish it out. Mm-hmm. Yummy. I like the thickness of it. Good consistency, it's got a spiciness. And you have that. Mmm. Yummy. It's got the fish, the potato, not the potato, the yam. It's got a nice smooth consistency. The oil adds some extra flavor and the spiciness is just right. We should try it. Mm. Very hot, but good. What is it called again? Oh, Mpotopto. 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 What is it? Mpotopto. Okay, that's good enough.